Hey everybody, General Motors Jeff here at Pro Chevrolet today to show you this right here. This is a 2022 Chevrolet Trail Boss 2LT, brand new interior, some new exterior, four different engine choices, red hot color. Let's get going. All right, so first of all, I am so sorry about the wind noise. This truck's gonna be gone. It's already sold. You might be able to see that in the window there. So it's not gonna be here long. So I needed to do this on my lunch hour while it's still here. What a great looking truck. The new refresh 2022 Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss 2LT in the red hot color. Isn't this great looking? Now let's talk about some of the new things on it. We'll talk about what the Trail Boss has and so on. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about what, what is the Trail Boss? So first of all, the Trail Boss, of course, has a two inch factory lift, suspension lift, um, which got Rancho name brand shocks under there as part of the Z71, Z71 part of the off-road package. Um, you are gonna have a more aggressive tire down here, depending on what size you get. These are an 18, so 18 inch gloss black wheels with the Goodyear Wrangler dirt track tires. If you get a 20 inch wheels, because that a wheel part of you, you have an option, that'll give you the Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires, all right? Now, as far as the coloring goes, when you get a Trail Boss, you're gonna get this black, grill here out front not to mention the black bumpers in the front we're going to talk about that in a second black door handles black mirror caps and of course the black rear bumper just to kind of break up the colors a little bit all right um this one has a black essentials package on it which we'll talk about here in a second as well so that's just kind of some of the things underbody skid plates high intensity air cleaner um have high low range for the four-wheel drive system those are all things as part of the z71 package but all things that come standard when you get into this custom or pardon me trail boss 2lt if you didn't already know this, of course, the Trail Boss sits above our custom Trail Boss, but a little bit below the ZR2. The new ZR2 takes it a step above this. Um, and of course, I'll be doing videos on that when I have one in hand. But in the meantime, what is different about this? What's new for the refresh, as I like to use my quotation marks, 2022 Silverados? Well, first of all, the front end is different. So um, I will put a comparison picture up so you can see your comparison video. But this, of course, is the refresh version so you're going to see it does have the um the chevy logo a little bit higher closer up to the top of the grill or the bumper or uh, hood pardon me um obviously different design down here in the bottom bumper just an overall different design and you'll see the c-shape uh daytime driving lights are much larger than they were in the past now one addition you're going to get with the custom trail pardon me you can say custom trail boss i just did a video on one but one of the new things is this right here on the trail boss this hood scoop non-functional as far as i understand but it does look cool uh, i'm sure you saw that uh this option when we came out with the zr2 to all the promotional videos when that truck came out but it is adopted to the trail boss as well and the custom trail boss so all three of the off-road version trucks will have that uh, little bump in the hood i don't know i like it. it gives it a little more character um of course oh by the way you're also gonna get the red tow hooks down here when you get into uh, the trail boss all right so this one here we've got the four inch stock standard custom not standard but custom running boards here um, from the factory price on this one you might not be able to see the gopro is 73,343 canadian dollars so keep in mind again here at pro chevrolet and sioux Marine, this is canadian dollars now this one here is made with a six and a half foot box of course you can still get them with the five foot eight box can't wait to show you inside by the way there's some really cool stuff to show you in there uh, pa uh we have the park assist on this one of course i'm not sure if it's activated or not but if it's not they'll be retrofitted dual exhaust of course out here in the back now that's actually one thing if you get into a zr2 that you don't get so one of the things you get with the trail boss is the dual as they call it, hdmi port uh, exhaust uh, but the zr2 offering which is above this one uh eliminates those because they want to have a little bit different clearance back there so the bumper is just a standard bumper but anyways power tailgate back here all right and it does have the spray and box liner as well there's a power outlet back here which you actually use to power a power tool or spotlights whatever led lights back here sliding rear window as you can see um in this one as well now we've trimmed this one right up hence why the price is a little bit up there uh, oh by the way keyless entry on driver and passenger door not the rear doors that's one of my things i always talk about but anyways really so cool that you have the ability to get in there oh and speaking of the keyless entry new key fobs this year that's what the key fobs look like so very much like our 2021 uh, tahos and the yukons look like they've adapted it and you have your remote start a little different uh, option the remote start you just have to press it twice now rather than um holding the lock button and so on so anyways we equip this one with leather this particular customer ordered leather of course you have those nice 
Uh, pockets in the back seat, that armrest will come down with cup holders, 60-40 split in the back seat. All weather liners for this one, of course. I mean, that looks great. Oh, and while we're back out here, one more thing with that black essentials package I want to talk about, which I really do think makes it look better. The Trail Boss, of course, does come with the black mirror caps, black hood scoop, black wheels, black grill, and so on. But what it doesn't come with, and you need to get the black essentials package, is actually more so on the back. And that is right here, which I think looks great on the red truck because it stands out having that sticker inside the Chevrolet. Otherwise, it's just it's just an imprint here, but it's still red. And then you get the Chev uh, Silverado uh, there and the LT there, those logos in black, which again, it just, it finishes the touch on the black contrast on this. Now, there's some really cool things on the inside I want to show you in the front seat, and there's some new options, features um, that you couldn't get in the past in this truck, aside from what you probably already know about, which is the massive screen inside. But let's have a look at that. First of all, let's start in the door. A little bit different design and the way they have the speaker here. This one, of course, has the Bose stereo system, as you can see. Again, leather in front, obviously. We did equip this one with the sunroof. All right. Oh, leather remain, reminded me of something. Bucket seats actually reminded me of something as well. I did say at the top, there's four different engine choices. We're gonna get back inside in a second. Four different engine choices underneath this hood right here. This one we have right here is equipped with a 5.3 liter, but you can get a 2.7 liter, uh, 5.3 liter as we just talked about, the three liter diesel or the 6.2 liter. Now what reminded me of the engines going inside is because for whatever reason, you can get this truck with bucket or bench seats. However, if you get the 6.2 liter or the three liter, you can only get buckets, okay? You can get cloth or leather, but you can only get the bucket seats with the new, by the way, if you didn't already know this, electric shifter right there. All right, so three liter, 6.2 liter. The only option is that shifter. Made it to the 10-speed transmission. Eight-speed transmission for the 2.7 liter. All the other engines have the 10-speed transmission, all right? But that's different. No, of course, some other differences here are the overall grill here. Let me turn this fan speed down. It's uh, a little aggressive here so you can actually hear me talk. So I'm gonna have a seat here. Oh, first of all, if I don't, Here's your auto truck four wheel drive system right there. You have your touring modes here, all right? This new finish here, gloss black finish. I really like that, looks sharp. We're gonna get to that big screen here in a second. But right in front of me, this is the new, keys in my pocket truck, um, the new programmable uh, 12 inch screen. So you can change how the screen looks like. All you have to do is uh, go over to the settings and you can change the display layout. And what's really cool is there's four different looks to it. And then amongst those looks, you can change what you have on either side or the middle. So your information can be customized to how you would like it. And I really like that feature. Now, again, as far as the inside is, is concerned, a lot of it is, uh, some of it's the same, but a lot of it's different. Now, one of the things that's very much the same is the steering wheel with one exception. When you do get the option of the bucket seats, by the way, because you can still get the bench seat, as I mentioned, with the with the uh, 5.3 or the 2.7. When you get the 5.3 or the 2.7, you're still going to get the column shifter over here. You're still going to retain all the new screen options, but it's going to have the column shifter and, of course, the, you know, the, the space down here. Um, but when you get this shifter here, the nice electric shifter, you're going to get the paddle shift here behind the steering wheel because unlike on the column shifter, which you used to have right here, you used to be able to you know, select manually through the gears here. You don't have that option. So they had to go here to the steering wheel. Now this one has the heated, se uh, heated seats and heated uh, steering wheel. That is what comes standard with the, uh, with the Trail Boss, of course. Uh, but again, I really love that screen there. The other screen that I want to talk about is here. And But before I get there, there's a couple other things I really like about this truck. There's a new standard safety feature system in this. And one of the things it has, which I really like, is over here. Uh, you might see that at the end of the stock, uh, the A there. That is auto high beam, so it kicks the auto high beams off and on. Really like that. Wasn't even an option in this truck in the past. Now it's standard. Another option I want to show you about is in the wall to the screen. But first of all, let's just talk about the screen. So this whole area is completely new and completely different. and exciting because I know this is something that many of you have been talking about for some time wanting a change in this so now it's 13.4 inches of overall screen pretty awesome it's now Google integrated by the way to answer some questions some people have this is equipped automatically with Google Maps it will only work if you have an active OnStar subscription with data so keep in mind that the only way you're gonna have navigation in this is if you are paying for the subscription for that now you can still have data and you can still utilize data, or pardon me, data, navigation, if you have an Apple iPhone or an Android phone of some sort, of course, and you're gonna be able to do that uh, through the phone projection, which of course is Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So you still retain Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you still have the ability to have that, but if you wanna use the built-in Google navigation in this truck, you do have to have an OnStar subscription with an active um, 
uh, uh, data plan. All right, so that's it. So, but again, 13.4 inch screen. There is something new about this though that I'm very excited about, especially in an off-road truck. And that is the fact that this now has the ability to have, and we have this one equipped with, the surround vision camera. I think my door must be a little open. I hear the wind blowing. There we go. Um, so you have the surround vision camera. What is cool about that? Well, of course, obviously just the different views. But what I like about it right now is see this? We're looking ahead of us. What's really cool about that is if you are off-roading very much like the ZR, uh, ZR2 and, and I just test drove the AT4X off-road, having that forward camera is kind of cool when you're coming up on objects. But of course, you know, just having all different kinds of views, there's in front of the hood, there's off the sides. I mean, there's a lot of different options in this and, and I really do like the ability, you know, you can have it right down on the hitch. I mean, tons of cool features when you get the surround vision camera. Um, so that is new, a new option you could not get in the past. You still have the auto stop start right here. There's your rear park assist there. Um, you can roll all the windows down with one button. This whole layout is different here, but you have separate climate control still. There's your heated seats. I'm not sure if they work on this one. Now, see, this one doesn't work. So they're, uh, they're going to have it. Uh, again, I've gone through this millions of times, but if you don't know, the trucks will come with it. Even if there's a credit showing uh, no heated seats, that means they're still going to be equipped with these buttons. You're going to get them retrofitted when the components come in free of charge. They are not going to charge you extra for it. You're already paying for it in the price of the truck. The $50, $25, whatever it is they give you, depending on country in, is just a uh, sorry that that happened. And there's the location for your trailer brake controller down here, by the way. All right. So massive new screen. That is very exciting. Again, we, like I said, we got the sunroof here. This is this whole layout is different. And if you do, this, this one does have the wireless charging. I don't have my phone in my pocket. Uh, I think I do, but it's got a metal thing on the back of it, which might not work, but I want to show you. This is a, a 12 Pro Max, so pretty much the biggest iPhone you can get, and it fits easily in there. All right. So again, tons of new things, tons of new awesome features as far as I'm concerned in this Trail Boss 2LT they're hard to get right now, but looking sharp, obviously, in that red color. As always, everybody, until the next video, thanks so much for watching. Take care.